Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you all? I'm fine, ma'am. What's ma about you? Fine. A warm welcome to everyone. Okay, so today, as I said, today we are going to do an exercise on paraphrasing. So we will be learning how to do the paraphrasing part as well as we will be learning the sentence structure. Okay, this is what we are going to learn today. So if anybody of you doesn't understand, please ask me. So let's start. How do you find the passive voice in an essay? Very, very important. This is very, very important. So to identify whether it is a passive voice, whether it is an active voice, what you guys have to do for passive voice, look at what happened and look at who, who was responsible for doing that or doing it. If the person or a thing responsible for doing action is either omitted or occurs in the sentence after the thing that happened, and if you see a past participle straight after the form of to be, it is a passive voice. Let us look at the table. Tense, zaruri nahi hai bachche lo, ke passive voice hamesha past tense mein hi aega. It can be in any tense. Present simple mein hoga. Active voice, I read an interesting novel. Passive voice, an interesting novel is read. Present continuous mein, I am reading an interesting novel. Passive voice mein, an interesting novel is being read. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Past simple me. I read an interesting novel last night. An interesting novel was read last night. Past continuous. I was reading an interesting novel. An interesting novel was being read. Present perfect. I have read an interesting novel. An interesting novel has been read. Past perfect, I had read an interesting novel. An interesting novel had been read. Last but not least, future simple. I will read an interesting novel. An interesting novel will be read. Okay? Future be going to. I am going to read an interesting novel. And passive mein aega, an interesting novel is going to be read. Models, that is should. I should read an interesting novel. An interesting novel should be read. And model perfect mein. I should have read an interesting novel. An interesting novel should have been read. So this is how you are going to change the active to passive in different tenses. In sentence, written in the active voice, the sentence which is written in the active voice, the subject of the sentence, the subject, Jesse Merketi, who Rina is writing a letter to Rina, it is a subject. She is a subject. So sentence performs the action. In a sentence written in the passive voice, the subject receives the action. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The candidate believes that Congress must place a ceiling on the budget. Now, this is an example and this is an active voice. Okay. Now, coming to the next thing. How do you write in passive voice? Kai log confuse hote hai. Kai bache confuse ho jate hai. So, in passive sentence, the person or a thing acted on comes first. Passive may jo acted on hota hai, wo pehle aega. And the actor is added in, at the end. Jaise maine kaha, Manindra is riding a bike. So Manindra is a subject. Riding is a verb. Wo act kar raha hai. So a bike is been, kya aega? Who is going to tell me? Come on guys. A road by Manindra. Very good. Excellent. Lovely. So this is how you will be changing the sentence from active to passive and passive to active. Now, 
introduced with the preposition by the passive form of the verb is signaled by a form of to be in the sentence above was formulated is in the passive voice while formulated is in the active voice any questions bachcho log no, no ma'am all clear okay with passive voice the subject is subject is acted upon the verb active and passive voice comparison kaise hoga i will clean the house every saturday now this is an active voice passive voice hoga jo ye hissa hai the house will be cleaned by me every saturday this is how you are going to turn it to passive voice past and passive are they same okay overall past and pa uh, passive are completely different even if they have similar names the past tense is used to talk about what has already happened and the passive voice is used to emphasize what it has happened to theek hai ye difference hai क्लियर बच्चे लोग यस मैम पैसिव वॉइस द पैसिव वॉइस इज यूज टू शो इंटरेस्ट इन द पर्सन और ऑब्जेक्ट दैट एक्सपीरियंस इज एन एक्शन रेदर देन द पर्सन और ऑब्जेक्ट दैट परफॉर्म द एक्शन इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग और अ पर्सन बिकम्स द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस ठीक है इफ यू गाइज वॉन्ट यू कैन टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट आई डोंट माइंड ओके ओके मैम वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर राइटिंग एन एक्टिव वॉइस सेंटेंस नाउ द फॉर्मूला इज एक्टिव वॉइस इज एक्सप्रेस इन द सिंपल फॉर्म ऑफ सब्जेक्ट प्लस एक्शन वर्ड जिसे हम वर्क कहते हैं प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज द फॉर्मूला how do you write in active way put the subject first a very simple formula put the subject first one way to change a passive sentence to an active one is to flip the sentence around so it's clear who is performing the action for example in the following sentences the bolded subject is last in the passive sentences but first in the active sentences i hope this topic is clear to you guys yes ma'am love present simple emma writes a letter passive voice a letter is written by emma present continuous mein emma is writing a letter present continuous hai so bachche log work ki form ing ki aayegi is writing a letter is being written by emma past simple mein emma wrote a letter and yahan pe a letter was written by emma yahan pe ek baat bachche log yaad rakhna ke aapke tenses bahut clear hone chahiye if your tenses are not clear you will suffer over here present perfect mein emma has written a letter or emma uh, has been written uh, sorry a letter has been written by emma so just see how it is changing past perfect mein emma had written a letter a letter had been written by who so by emma over here emma is a subject and letter is an object and this is a verb now over here if you see this is an object which comes first and subject goes at the end this is how you are going to do it future simple in future simple Emma will write a letter. Future में हमेशा will आएगा. A letter will be written by Emma. Future be going to. Emma is going to write a letter. A letter is going to be written by Emma. Model. Emma must write a letter. A letter must be written by Emma. Model perfect. Emma. should have written a letter a letter should have been written by emma 
what is the difference between paraphrase and rephrase? See, we every, everyone, everyone. Now, let me tell you one thing. This is with everyone. You know, like whenever you talk to somebody, whether it is with your boss, your soul, it can be anyone. So, if you talk to the same words, you will say word to word. You will little bit rephrase it, you will little bit paraphrase it. Actually, we were learning from the very early age. We were learning from the very early age. But we have no idea what are we learning indirectly. Over here, paraphrasing is something you learn from the very early childhood. Suppose you have a teacher, so you will say with reason that the teacher has a lot of data, how is the data, in detail, little bit, whether it is, uh, you know, not word to word, what the teacher told you that I will complain to your mom, you will take a little milk masala and you will say it with the teacher, so that the teacher has a lot of data, you know, kasur hai, not yours fault. So, yaha pe kya hota hai, bachche lo? You have to do the same thing over here in the paraphrasing part. In the paraphrasing is when you take someone else's words and utter. Utter matlab bolna. Or write them in a new way to make them your own. Okay? And rephrasing is something on the other hand. When you say or write something in a particular way, Mostly to make it clear, clearer. Okay, so यहाँ पे ये difference है. Paraphrasing में आप किसी और के words बोलते हो, लिखते हो, but in a new way you write it down, not with the exact same words. And rephrasing में when you say or write something else in a particular way, आप एक particular way में लिखते हो. A particular way may up letter lickte ho, mostly to make it clearer. Now it is up to you how you are writing and which way you are writing. Take a kissiko other thoti hai. Did you get it? Esa pushte hai. To ye unka a particular way hota hai. Just say, you know, a signature mark bhi kaha jata hai. So this is how you call it as a rephrasing. Now this is a paragraph, bache lok, bringing cinnamon to Europe. Cinnamon matla dalchini. It is a spice. Yaha pe mene kuch highlighted words kiye huwe hai. Usi highlighted words ko hume rephrase karna hai or you can say we can paraphrase those words. So I'll just show you like can you just do the brief thing right now so that later on I can show you what the actual meanings are. सपोज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम तो उसका दूसरा सिनेमी क्या होगा उसका पैराफ्रेजिंग अगर हम करना चाहे एनी बडी हु नोज कम ऑन चिल्ड्रन यू कैन जस्ट गिव इट अ ट्राई ट्राई कीजिए प्रोड्यूस प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम मतलब इट इज मेड फ्रॉम अ पेपर इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम अ पेपर इज मेड फ्रॉम उस हिसाब से, which is native to. Now what does it mean? Which is native to? Ma'am, which is related to? Okay, related to. Another meaning. Very good. और कौन बोलेगा? Who is going to give it a try? See, this is a class where you are going to learn. So just give it a try ताकि आप लोग का confidence भी बढ़े. है के नहीं? No matter if it is wrong, it's wrong. कोई बात नहीं, कोई डांटने वाला नहीं है, कोई हंसी मजाक नहीं यहाँ पे उड़ाएगा. You can just give it a try. Which is native to means which originates from. Mentioned, mention मतलब stated. Several, several मतलब a number of. Mixed, mixed with. तो मिक्स्ड विद के लिए हम कह सकते हैं एडेड टू इंडिकेटिंग इंडिकेटिंग मतलब जैसे हम कहते हैं प्लीज स्विच ऑन द इंडिकेटर इफ यू आर मूविंग टू द लेफ्ट प्लीज स्विच ऑन द राइट इंडिकेटर इफ यू आर मूविंग टू द राइट और इफ यू आर टर्निंग टू द राइट इंडिकेटिंग मतलब अ साइन ऑफ अटेंडिंग अटेंडिंग मतलब पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन A pleasant smell, 
a pleasant smell, scent. So you can say a, ple a sweet smell. Primary means main. Primary section. Now that is a main section. Hame lagta hai ABCD is not important, but to be true, you start learning. That is the pillar. That is a basic. You are learning a very first stage of your life. ABCD. Similarly, primary. That is a main section. Particularly means especially. Impress means you say. If I say. Uh, Moga has leave and mark on me means Moga has impressed me. Manindra has impressed me. So impress ki jaga pe mein bol sakti ho. He has left a mark on me. A mark on me matlab aisa nahi hai ke daag par gaya ya daag chhor gaye. No. He or she has impressed you. A sign of wealth at his or her disposal means an indication of how wealthy an individual is was also reported to have health benefits was also said to be beneficial to well-being <clears throat> was taught to cure various ailments was believed to heal different illnesses. Now, let me show you something. These are the words, an indication of how wealthy an individual is, a sign of which originates. You have to match it. You have to match it. This is what I meant. See, produce from, made from, which is native to. This was in a paragraph. The uska meaning hai, which originates from. You can take the screenshot, guys. Yeah, beta, I'll just tell you later on because otherwise in the middle of the um, session, I'll forget everything. I'll go step by step. Okay, just remind me, Moga. So, mentioned, stated, several, a number of, mixed with, added to, indicating, a sign of, attending, participating in, a pleasant scent, a sweet smell. Primary means main. Particularly, especially, impress. Leave a mark on a sign of wealth at his or her disposal, an indication of how wealthy an individual is. Was also reported to have a health benefits, was also said to be beneficial to well being, was thought to cure various ailments, was believed to heal different illnesses. Clear, Bacha? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Great. Now over here, let's do this thing, Bicha. Just a second. Let me just open up. Okay, so let's start. Uh, can we do the paraphrasing thing now? So how are you going to paraphrase? Let's paraphrase that paragraph before we move to the another part. Now you all know the meaning of it. Come on, let's do the paraphrasing. Cinnamon is a sweet fragrant spice made from the inner bark of trees of the genus 
pneumomum which originates from the Indian subcontinent. It was known in biblical times. Now, what is the meaning of biblical times? It means ancient times. And it's stated in a number of books in the Bible, both as an ingredient that was added to oils for anointing people's body and also as a token that was a sign of friendship among lovers and friends. In ancient Rome, mourners participating in funerals burnt cinnamon to create a sweet smell. Most often, however, the spice found its main use as an additive to food and drink. In the Middle Ages, the Europeans who could afford the spice used it to flavor food, especially meat and to leave a mark on. Impress ke jaga pe to leave a mark on. Those around them with their ability to purchase an expensive condiment from the exotic East. At the banquet, a host would offer guests a plate with various spice piled upon it as an indication of how wealthy an individual is. Cinnamon was also said to be beneficial to well-being and was believed to heal different illnesses such as indigestion. This is how we are going to paraphrase. Now, you don't need to paraphrase each and every word given in the question. You can paraphrase those words which are familiar to you. Just say, fragment ko hum smell bhi kehte hai, but it is not necessary ke har ek jagah pe aap har ek word ko kar sako ha kabhi kabhi jo words suppose aapko nahi milte hai use aap kar lijiye agar koi words nahi bhi milte hai to use chhod dijiye jitna ho sake utna aap usko kar sakte hai paraphrasing theek hai any questions no ma'am no ma'am okay What is paraphrasing? Paraphrasing is when you take an original idea and rewrite it to express the same meaning, but in a different way. This might be by changing the words, word forms, sentence structure, or using synonyms. If you think this is just for writing academic papers, think again. We actually paraphrase all the time. Agar dosto ke beech mein baat hui hai. Aap log har ek word dusre dost ko nahi bologe. Aap thora sa cut down karoge. Aap thora sa add on karoge. So this is called as a paraphrasing thing. Now when you read a book, article or watch a movie and tell your friends about it, you are paraphrasing. When you tell your friend or colleagues about a conversation you had with your boss, you are paraphrasing. You are not repeating the original con conversation words for word to word, whatever you said or whatever he or she said to you. You are giving them the main idea of the conversation using your own words. Okay? Now, writing task to me, why do you need to paraphrase? Very important question. Many students ask me. Paraphrasing is important to the IELTS writing task two. Also in task one, you don't need that, but little bit. You cannot keep on uh, writing the same word again and again. You have to use the synonyms. 
so over here why is it important because your introduction pehli cheez a first impression is the last impression in introduction paragraph is basically a paraphrase of the essay prompt means you will be writing it from the question itself you will need to rewrite the essay prompt matlab question in your own words to introduce your essay aur wahi pe aap thesis statement bhi add on karoge three ways how to do paraphrasing for ielts writing task 2 before you attempt to paraphrase you need to make sure that you understand the gist you have to understand the question what actually it it means or meaning of the paragraph what is it all about paraphrasing is more than just changing the words your paraphrase needs to make a sense and still convey the original message so you should read the original text a couple of times to make sure you understand a message theek hai it conveys then turn the idea over your mind of how you would express the same ideas to a friend now below are the three techniques to paraphrase rather than exclusively using one of them a good paraphrase includes all the methods pehle means uh, pehla jo hai aap use kariye synonyms synonyms are different words that express the same or the similar meaning now paraphrase ka matlab bachche log ek cheez hamesha yaad rakhna meaning shouldn't change right up to the mark don't go or don't run about the bush for example interesting fascinating curious and amusing all are the synonyms har synonymy ek jaisa nahi hota hai ye baat bhi aapko samajhni hai pehli baat to jaisa situation hoga waisa synonymy hoga for example see if your homophones are not clear you will make mistake suppose eyes ek hota hai jo aankhon ko hum eyes kehte hain aur eyes hoti hai wo hota hai kya बर्फ को हम आइस कहते हैं दोनों का प्रोनाउंसिएशन सेम है स्पेलिंग्स डिफरेंट है यहाँ पे अगर गलती से आपने कुछ और स्पेलिंग लिख दिया तो यहाँ पे आपके बैंड्स कटेंगे सो मेक श्योर नो स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक्स नो होमोफोन्स नो होमोग्राफ्स मिस्टेक्स बट सम समीज कैन हैव अ स्लाइटली डिफरेंट मीनिंग यस दे डू हैव फॉर एग्जाम्पल फैसिनेटिंग हैज अ स्ट्रोंगर मीनिंग देन इंटरेस्टिंग so be careful when using synonyms we need to make sure that the words we are using convey the same level of meaning as the original theek hai for example yahan pe many people think that cars should not be allowed in the city centers yahan pe aap kya likhoge chalo let me let me check it out <clears throat> आप मुझे बताइए आप क्या लिखोगे वॉट विल यू राइट गाइस यहाँ पे आप पैराफ्रेस क्या करोगे मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट कार्स शुड नॉट बी अलाउड इन सिटी सेंटर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल थिंक दैट कार्स शुड नॉट बी परमिटेड इन सिटी सेंटर्स ओके अभी सिटी सेंटर्स मतलब अर्बन एरियाज हो गए टाउन्स मतलब रूरल एरियाज कहा जाता है कार्स को हम कहेंगे मोटर व्हीकल्स विच रन बाय मोटर शुड को हम कहेंगे ओटो पीपल को हम पीपल ही रहने देते हैं या यू कैन राइट एन इंडिविजुअल शुड नॉट बी अलाउड शुड नॉट बी अलाउड नाउ पीपल शुड नॉट बी अलाउड टू स्टे आउट If there is a lockdown, तो इसे हम should not be allowed की जगह पे हम banned word use कर सकते हैं This is how you are going to do the paraphrasing part, sweetie. Many people believe that motor vehicles should be banned or are ought to be banned in urban areas. Think मतलब believe, cars मतलब motor vehicles. should not be allowed should be banned aur should ka meaning hota hai 
ओट टू सिटी सेंटर्स मतलब अर्बन एरिया ओके एक चीज मैं और बता देती हूँ आपको बहुत छोटी सी चीज है बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन आयल्स दिस सेंटर्स इसे चलेगा सीई एन टी आर एस लिखोगे तो भी चलेगा एंड जो कॉम्प्लेक्सेस होते हैं जैसे एजुकेशन सेंटर हो गए हॉबी सेंटर हो गए उसमें एक्चुअली दिस वर्ड इज करेक्ट सीई एन टी आर ई एस एंड सीई एन टी आर मैथमेटिक्स में जो सर्कल जो आता है उसका जो सेंटर होता है दैट इज द सेंटर आई एम एट द सेंटर ऑफ द मॉल आई एम एट द सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल वो वाला सेंटर सीई एन टी ई आर बट यहाँ पे आयल्स में वो लोग ये स्पेलिंग्स के लिए मार्क्स नहीं काटेंगे स्पेशली फॉर सेंटर्स ओके नाउ दिस आर दिनोमीज एक्साइटेड के सिनेमीज एनी वन हु कैन रीड इट फॉर मी प्लीज हु इज गोइंग टू रीड इट एक्सटेटिक एनर्जेटिक अराउज बाउंसी नर्वस पर्की एंड सी very good similarly we are going to use this synonyms for this particular words so if you want to write a word happy or if you want to mention happy keep on using different word at every place as much as you can to usse aapke bands kafi had tak badh jayenge now how to change the word form if you guys want you can take the screenshots i don't mind at all change the word forms another way to paraphrase is to change the word forms for example <clears throat> changing a noun into a verb a verb into a noun or an adjective into a noun or a verb <clears throat> adjective into a noun or vice versa sorry <clears throat> example many people find watching tennis interesting now interesting is an adjective now coming back to active passive original text hai the hurricane destroyed the city isko agar hame paraphrase karna hai to hum passive voice mein change karenge because the hurricane is the subject the city was destroyed by the hurricane now this is a passive voice सब्जेक्ट पीछे गया ऑब्जेक्ट आगे आया इन द सेंटेंस अबाउ द सब्जेक्ट द हुरिकन बिकेम द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट द सिटी बिकेम द सब्जेक्ट दैट्स ऑल दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू डू द पैराफ्रेजिंग पार्ट इन योर इंट्रोडक्शन दैट इज फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ यू डोंट हैव टू राइट इट ऑन योर ओन जस्ट बाई फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ ठीक है in the sentence okay yeah. to be passive we also change the verb destroyed into past perfect was and were theek okay? hai plus past participle this is how you have to remember passive to active the public transport system was developed by the city council the city council developed the public transport system in the sentence above the subject that is the public transport system became the object and the object the city council became the subject now order of clauses bachche order of clauses a clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb some sentence can be a single clause and some sentence can be made up of two or more clauses for example it is difficult to say whether the economy will improve now clause and phrase what is a clause what is a phrase clause ka humne abhi padha but i repeat a group of words that contains a subject and a verb one is the independent clause one is the dependent clause independent clause makes sense on its own as a sentence i went to school dependent clause jo dependent hai doesn't make sense on its own as a sentence although i wasn't feeling well i went to school although i 
अभी मैं खाली अगर ऑल दो आई बोलू तो ये वाला जो क्लॉज है ये डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज हो गया क्योंकि ऑल दो आई पर क्या आपको नहीं पता इट इज इनकम्प्लीट सेंटेंस जो इनकम्प्लीट सेंटेंस आपको लगेगा वो डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज है जो कंप्लीट है खुद के अंदर ही दैट इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट क्लॉज अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स विदाउट अ सब्जेक्ट वर्ब कंपोनेंट इज नोन एज अ फ्रेज नाउन फ्रेज में बेस्ट फ्रेंड वर्ब फ्रेज में वॉज वर्किंग एडजेक्टिव फ्रेज में वेरी प्रिटी एडवर्ब फ्रेज में रियली स्लोली प्रपोजिशनल फ्रेज में इन द बीन This is how you are going to differentiate between clause and a phrase. For example, it is difficult to say whether the economy will improve. The two clauses are there. It is difficult to say and whether the economy will improve. One way to paraphrase is by changing the order of the clauses. This is also the way you can paraphrase. Whether the economy will improve, it is difficult to say. This is how you will. do it let's look at the another example during the summer many people visit the temple many people visit the temple during the summer see kaise change hua aur kitna khoobsurat lag raha hai paraphrasing an essay sorry this has been done <clears throat> a general statement that introduce introduces the topic a specific statement that gives you the specific idea about the topic very very important <coughs> can anybody read for me <coughs> nowadays more and more foreign students are going to english speaking countries to learn the international language english it is undoubtedly true that studying english is an english speaking country is the best way but it is not the only way to learn it do you agree or disagree with the above statement very good abhi jab aap log ko ye pucha jaye do you agree or disagree pehli baat to i am agreeing aap nahi likhoge i am disagreeing aap nahi likhoge aap seedha likhoge i agree i disagree I partially agree, ठीक है अभी हम जो पैराफ्रेस करेंगे टू अनपैक दिस प्रॉम्प्ट द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज द जेनरल स्टेटमेंट दैट नाव इट इज मोर एंड मोर फॉरन स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्रीज टू लर्न द इंटरनेशनल लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश दिस टेल्स अस वॉट द एस ए टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट so the second sentence is the specific sentence that it is undoubtedly true that studying english is an english speaking country in an english speaking country is the best way but it is not only way to learn it it gives an opinion about the topic the third third sentence in this question to what extent do you agree or disagree with the above statement this means you have to express your opinion on the second sentence how will you do that first sentence nowadays okay who is going to read it for me yes ma'am nowadays more and more foreign students are going to english speaking country to learn the international language english paraphrase okay. In recent time, a growing number of international students are long learning English in English-speaking countries. Okay. Now, who is going to tell me the difference? देखो यहाँ पे जो ये जो question है nowadays more and more foreign students are going to English-speaking countries to learn the international language English. Who is going to tell me कि ये क्वेश्चन में और ये पैराफ्रेजिंग वाले में क्या क्या डिफरेंस है क्या क्या चेंज हुआ है पहली बात तो नावडेज की जगह पे हमने लिया है इन रिसेंट टाइम्स गाइज डोंट गो ब्लैंक ठीक है यू गाइज नो ईच एंड एवरी थिंग सो डोंट गो ब्लैंक पहली चीज मोर एंड मोर फॉरन स्टूडेंट्स तो यहाँ पे हमने लिखा है अ ग्रोइंग नंबर 
फॉरन स्टूडेंट्स की जगह पे हमने लिखा है इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्रीज सो आर लर्निंग इंग्लिश वेर इन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्रीज यहाँ पे टू लर्न द इंटरनेशनल लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश को हमने देखो कहा पे डाला है अ ग्रोइंग नंबर के बाद ऑफ इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स आर लर्निंग इंग्लिश आर लर्निंग इंग्लिश इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्रीज टू लर्न द इंटरनेशनल लैंग्वेज इंग्लिश आर लर्निंग इंग्लिश इन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग कंट्रीज दिस इज वॉट वी हैव पैरा फ्रेज ठीक है जैसे हम एक्टिव टू पैसिव में करते हैं Now let's look at an example of a paraphrase. Who is going? Okay, this is the same one. Who is going to read it for me? The second sentence. It is undoubtedly studying English, studying English in an English-speaking country is the best way, but it is not the only way to learn it. Okay. Okay. Who is going to read the paraphrase? paraphrase okay. also it is beneficial to learn english in a country where it is natively spoken there are other effective ways to learn it very good very good now in task 2 it is also important that you put on linking words you put on connectors theek hai in spite of despite of ye sara bhi can anybody tell me that although is an connector although is a connector yes ma'am okay although even though despite and in spite of are connectors okay remember this and they are used to show the concession and they follow certain rules of grammar although it was snowing he walked to the tube station ट्यूब मतलब जो मेट्रो ट्रेन जो आती है वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट अ ट्यूब तो कंफ्यूज मत हो जाना कुछ वर्ड्स में ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट नो मैम हु इज गोइंग टू रीड द थर्ड वन टू वट एक्सटेंड टू टू वट एक्सटेंड डू यू एग्री और डिस एग्री विद दी अब स्टेटमेंट पैराफ्रेज आई एग्री विद दिस स्टेटमेंट टू अ लार्ज डिग्री lovely very good see i agree i am agreeing i am disagreeing no ye aap nahi bologe theek hai putting it all together so who is going to read it for me yes ma'am i can read it okay or it's not a promot now a days more and more foreign students are going to english speaking countries to learn the international language english it is undoubtedly true that studying english in an english speaking country is the best way but it is not the only way to learn it do you agree or disagree with the above statement excellent excellent mm -hmm. so i hope this is clear to you guys yes ma'am yes ma'am i am sure kyunki aap log itne brilliant ho so definitely it will be clear फिर भी अगर आपको कोई क्वेश्चन है कोई क्वेरीज है यहाँ तक तो आप मुझे पूछ सकते हो ओके सपोज पैराफ्रेजिंग पैराफ्रेजिंग में हम एक्टिव पैसिव भी यूज कर सकते हैं ना हाँ बेटा यही तो मेन चीज है यही तो आपको मेन इंग्रेडिएंट यूज करना है जैसे हम कहते हैं कि पाव भाजी पाव भाजी के मसाले के बगैर बनेगी नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल जैसे सारे मसाले अब डाल दो लेकिन नमक नहीं डालोगे तो वो स्वाद नहीं आएगा चाहे कितने भी मसाले ऐड कर लो एक मेन इंग्रेडिएंट जो पैराफ्रेजिंग का है दैट इज योर एक्टिव टू पैसिव वॉइस अगर सिंपल है तो चेंज इट टू कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉम्प्लेक्स है चेंज इट टू सिंपल एक्टिव है चेंज इट टू पैसिव पैसिव है चेंज इट टू एक्टिव ठीक है यही आपको करना है और क्वेश्चन में से ही आपको रिफ्रेज करना है पैराफ्रेजिंग करना है The difference between paraphrase and rephrase, I have already taught you what it is. Suppose if you say that is a very good idea. Now, in a sentence, whether you are writing it or whether you are talking about, it is a very weak object. Sorry, very weak adjective. Very good. This is such a weak adjective. Never use this. 
instead of that what will you say great idea excellent idea remarkable idea outstanding idea aap is hisab se use karoge hai theek hai yes ma'am very good lovely okay one more thing okay this is an introduction introduction mein thesis statement kaise generate karte hain kaise hum apne banayenge and along with the templates along with the thesis templates jisme almost maine 120 to 180 words i have written so i'll prepare that ppt for the next saturday and i'll teach you about the thesis statement agar aap logo ne thesis statement likh diya to aapko char band thesis statement ke hi milenge theek hai who is going to read this yes ma'am once more in, in recent times time, a growing number of international students are learning english in english speaking countries although it is more beneficial to learn english in a country where it is natively spoken there are other effective ways to learn it i agree with this very good very good excellent the overuse of natural resources ultimately exhaust them this causes huge harm to the environment hum kai bar environment mein n likhna bhul jate hain so ye choti choti agar ek 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 cheez ki mistake agar aapne bhul gaye ho to usse aapka 0.3 mistakes mila ke 0.5 bands deduct honge wo cheez nahi honi chahiye 0.5 wala to therefore therefore ke baad this is a connector hamesha comma rakhiye the government should discourage people from overusing such resources to what extent do you support or oppose this idea exploiting exploiting natural resources will ultimately deplete them and lead to environmental harm therefore the overuse of this resources should be discouraged by governments i totally agree with this statement you can write this word also at the end another way to write okay who is going to read it the exploitation of natural resources results in their mm. exhaustion this is environmental damage mm. thus governments should encourage people to take care not to overuse these resources i agree with this to a large extent excellent large extent also aap likh sakte ho okay the third statement natural resources, natural resources will ultimately be exhausted if we if continue we... to overuse them it damages the environment and should therefore be discouraged by government i agree with this statement to a large degree very good lovely dekho ye teen teen cheeze humne likhi hai in different way okay now this one so more than one paraphrase can be correct there are many ways to say the same thing there is also more than one way to paraphrase the best way to paraphrase for ielts writing task 2 is to use a combination of these techniques synonyms sentence structure and clause order jo humne teeno sikhe hai and the practice makes the man perfect, perfect. now there are four r's in the paraphrasing that is the resource okay who is going to read it for me one is review the graphic below the explains that four hours that is restate recheck repair and one more re who is going to tell me who is going to tell me come on guys कोई नहीं बोलेगा फोर आर में एक आर कट गया है तो किसे पता है क्या फोर आर है 
ऑर्गेनाइजर टू हेल्प यू प्रैक्टिस द paraphrasing by using this strategy now which is the strategy key strategies for paraphrase read the portion of a text you want to paraphrase make sure you understand it after you read the text make notes of what you read without using the author's words or a structure using only your notes write all of your important ideas of the text using own words pehle to aapko kya karna hai pehle to aapko question mein se words circle karne hai ya underline karne hai jisko jis jis words ke aapko meaning pata hai synonyms pata hai question paper mein upar likh dijiye fir active to passive mein convert kijiye complex hai to usko simple bana dijiye jo simple hai to usko thoda sa complex bana dijiye thoda sa bhari bharkam bana dijiye theek hai नेक्स्ट uh, इसमें मैं आपको कॉम्प्लेक्स uh, और कंपाउंड uh, सेंटेंस कैसे बनाते हैं वो सिखा दूंगी एंड उसके बाद थीसिस का सिखा दूंगी सो so, कंपाउंड कैसे बनाते हैं कॉम्प्लेक्स कैसे बनाते हैं वो आप सीख जाओगे उसके बाद यू हैव टू राइट डाउन योर आइडियाज विदाउट लुकिंग एट द ओरिजिनल वन फिर एक चीज को डिवाइड कर दीजिए कि भाई अच्छा है तो उसके सामने बुरा भी है अगर पॉजिटिव है तो नेगेटिव भी होगा तो उसका ऑपोजिट आप ढूंढते रहिए एंड खाली कीवर्ड्स के हिसाब से मेक अ वेरी गुड यूज ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड स्टार्ट राइटिंग इन योर क्वेश्चन पेपर सबसे पहले आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट स्टार्ट राइटिंग योर टास्क टू एंड उसके बाद टास्क वन लिखिए क्योंकि उसमें इतना नहीं होगा एंड टास्क वन आपका जल्दी भी खत्म हो जाएगा बट टास्क टू में आपको थोड़ा सा टाइम चाहिएगा पहले एक मिनट लो अच्छे से सोचो क्वेश्चन को तीन बार पढ़ो समझो अपने वर्ड्स में ट्रांसलेट करने से अच्छा है कि आप उसके सिनेमिज धुन के उसको रिफ्रेस करना चालू कर दो एंड चेंज द वर्ड ऑर्डर चेंज द सेंटेंस चेंज द क्लॉज ऑर्डर कंपेयर विद द ओरिजिनल टू सी वेदर यू आर कन्वेइंग द सेम मीनिंग फिर आपको कन्वे देखना है कि आप जो मीनिंग लिख रहे हो वो सही है कि नहीं नाउ द रीजन फॉर इंक्रीजिंग लेवल्स ऑफ पोल्यूशन आर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एयर ट्रेवल इज इट ट्रू द सेंटेंस अबाउ कैन बी पैराफ्रेस दैट द कॉजेस ऑफ राइजिंग लेवल्स ऑफ पोल्यूशन आर द ग्रोथ एंड एक्सपांशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्री एज वेल एज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल अभी जो कुछ वर्ड्स है उसको आप चेंज मत करिए क्योंकि ओरिजिनल ओरिजिनल की जगह पे ही रहे तो अच्छा है बहुत चेंजिंग मत कीजिए क्योंकि पीपल की जगह पे अगर आप इंडिविजुअल लिखोगे तो थोड़ा सा दिक्कत हो जाएगी तो पीपल ही रहने दीजिए पीपल ट्रैवलिंग बाय एयर जहां पे लगे अभी जैसे कि पेट्रोल की जगह पे एक जगह पे अगर आपने फ्यूल लिखा सही है पर दूसरी जगह पे वापस आप पेट्रोल भी लिखिए जो भी है आपका Causes, ये देखिए ये सिनेमिज है कॉजेस मतलब रीजन इंक्रीजिंग मतलब राइजिंग द डेवलपमेंट मतलब द ग्रोथ एंड द एक्सपांशन ऑफ एंड का मीनिंग सिनेमी है एज वेल एज एयर ट्रेवल मतलब ट्रेवलिंग बाई एयर नोटिस यू कैन सी दैट द वर्ड्स लेवल ऑफ पोल्यूशन एंड इंडस्ट्री हैव नॉट बीन चेंज पोल्यूशन का कोई ऑल्टरनेटिव मत डालिए अगर आपको पता है तो भी मत डालिए क्योंकि इट शुड रिमेन एज इट इज सामने वाले को पता होना चाहिए कि यू आर अवेयर ऑफ इट हो सकता है कि उसको मीनिंग पता ना हो है कि नहीं दिस इज फाइन नॉट ऑल वर्ड्स नीड टू बी चेंज इन फैक्ट द वर्ड पोल्यूशन इज बेस्ट नॉट चेंज ठीक है here is it a list of how the sentence was altered using synonyms not all the words need changing now who will read it for me not all not words not all words need to be changed for a high score in ielts 
you can see from the example above that some words have remained the same level of pollution industry air this means you need to decide which words to paraphrase and which word to keep the same decide which words you can successfully paraphrase and which one you will keep be selective a high level students knows when to change words and when now to change words if you try to paraphrase too much you might first make mistakes which will lower your score second change the meaning which might result in your uh, in you doing in you going off topic yes don't go off the topic now this one avoiding oh, mistakes the, the more mistakes, mistakes you make, you make the vocabulary in, in files writing and speaking the, the lower your score will be paraphrasing, paraphrasing is, is a skill synonyms do not have exactly the same meaning and cannot always be used at the same time correct changing the word form another way to paraphrase sentences is to change the form of the word this means we use the same words as else but change their form here is correct. an example many people are unhealthy because they fail to eat well and exercise this can be paraphrased by changing the word form of unhealthy fail and exercise many people have poor health because they are failing to eat well and are not exercising enough you can see from the above example that many of the words are the same but the form is changed first unhealthy poor health second fail failing third exercise exercising we can change the order of the clauses many people fail to eat well and exercise and for that reason they are unhealthy let's make more changes to the sentence now we can also paraphrase by altering the word form as we did previously the final sentence would be failing to eat well and not exercising are the reason that many people have a poor health paraphrasing and as best scores of, of course, course paraphrasing will help your band score and the frequency of vocabulary band score 5 minimum Three. range of vocabulary frequent errors which causes problems with meaning if you will do this thing if you'll follow this thing you will only get a band score 5 Now, if you want to score band score six, you need adequate range of vocabulary. Some errors, but the meaning is clear. Will do. If you want to score band score seven, sufficient range of vocabulary and few errors. And for band score eight, wide range of vocabulary. Most sentences are error free. Okay. Now, who is going to read this for me? Yes, sir. My. जिम और ज्वाइन इन स्पोर्ट्स क्लब फॉर एग्जाम्पल आफ्टर हार्ड डे एट वर्क मैनी पीपल प्रेफर टू जस्ट कम होम एंड सिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द टीवी एंड ऑन वीकेंड गो आउट विद फ्रेंड्स when people do have time off over a vacation they tend to relax very good thank you ma'am go out with friends when people do not do have time off or vacation they tend to relax and recover now your other words being overweight lazy Hectic. hectic an additional free time holiday take it easy due to issue activity fat thought about at do should be tough as opposed to citizens take into consideration consideration recreation club excellent non stop would rather not enough exhausted take part in responsibilities now this meanings we will be using it in this 
paraphrasing an additional issue that an, should be an additional issue that should be taken into consideration is that a lack of exercise adds to being overweight due to leading a busy busy life and responsibilities at work many people are just too exhausted to go to gym or take part in a sports club for example after a hard day at work many people would rather just come home and sit in front of the tv and on weekends go out with friends when people do have free time or a holiday they tend to take it easy and recover as opposed to going to a gym excellent excellent now this is the second one and an additional issue that should be taken into consideration is that a lack of exercise adds to being overweight due to leading a busy life and responsibilities at work many people are just too exhausted to go to the gym or take part in a sports club for example after a hard day at work many people would rather just come home and sit in the front of the tv and on weekends go out with friends when people do have free time or holiday they tends to take it easy and recover as opposed to going to gym excellent analysis another problem another problem can be changed to an additional issue the whole issue is a good synonym of problem this is a common word that appears in alls essay need to be we can can use should be the meaning is quite similar collocation taken into consideration same meaning as considered adds to is a good synonym for contribute to being overweight is better than saying fat as this has a very negative meaning the cohesive device as a result of can be replaced with due to pressure at work can be replaced with the collocation responsibilities at work is not an exact synonym but it's a good match tired can be changed to a stronger adjective exhausted join i use phrasal verb take part in this fits well in the sentence grammar change prefer i change to would rather time of free time vocation is american english and i change it to holiday which is british english take it easy is a collocation so i use this instead of relax it is a little informal for ills but it fits the sentence well rather than can be changed to a more formal as opposed to the words that do not fit or recreation club citizen slays hectic non stop fat these are either too informal or just do not match in meaning how can i improve by paraphrasing skills step 2 the paraphrasing and summarizing first read your text paragraph and ensure that you understand it second write down your ideas without looking at the original third you binomials or change the word order of your sentence fourth compare with the original to see whether you are conveying the same meaning next slide ma'am excellent all the slides are done well done okay little bit of pronunciation correction i would like to make first thing yahan pe pre, uh, prefer nahi aayega prefer aayega and uh, consideration nahi aayega considered and consideration aayega vacation uh, us mein kehte hai vacation and holiday ye kehte hai uk mein theek hai so uh, that's all and we are done okay one more thing jo moga ne pucha tha ke what is the meaning of molding a public opinion meaning do you guys know about it thank you so much moga okay who knows about it little bit of idea
Who knows about it? These guys. Anybody knows about it? Okay, let me explain you. Molding मतलब क्या सबसे पहले मेरे को ये बताओ चलो इट इज वेरी सिंपल सी पब्लिक ओपिनियन कैन बी मोल्ड आपके भी ओपिनियन होंगे तो आपके भी ओपिनियन मोल्ड होते हैं कि नहीं कैसे होते हैं यू कैन यू कैन बी इंफ्लुएंस बाय अ पब्लिक फिगर यू कैन गेट इंफ्लुएंस बाय अ पब्लिक रिलेशन अ पोलिटिकल मीडिया एनी थिंग बिकॉज ऑफ मास मीडिया बिकॉज अ ह्यूज वेराइटी a huge variety uh, people are using to convey the messages mass media and advertising techniques to get their message like you know change the minds of the people hum sabko pata hai bachche log ke fair and lovely lagane se hum gore nahi hone wale hai then do they advertise in such a way so that hum lene ke liye majboor ho jate hai hamare man pe wo cheez haavi ho jati hai so since 1950s television has been the main medium of molding the people's mind kisi cheez se mold karna with the help of mass media use kahenge beta molding the mind theek hai any questions any question bachche ma'am writing task mein writing bhi matter karti hai haan ji writing bhi matter karti hai it should be readable you can write in any a b c d except the first a b c d punctuations dekhe jayenge connectors aapne kitne use kiye hai linking words aapne kitne use kiye hai aur yahan tak ye bhi dekha jayega ki aap sahi se likh rahe ho ki nahi line ke niche to nahi ja rahe ho overwriting to nahi kar rahe ho ओम स्वास्थ्य या कुछ भी एक्स वाई जेड आपके यानी गॉड का कोई भी सिंबल मत बनाना क्योंकि दे विल थिंक दैट यू आर गिविंग अ सिग्नल टू समबडी एंड दूसरी चीज जो आपको ध्यान रखनी है लाइटली पहले लिखना क्योंकि जब तक आप श्योर नहीं हो दबा दबा के मत लिखना वरना काली यू नो ब्लैकनेस आ जाएगी पेपर के ऊपर काली जैसा आ जाएगा एंड इट विल अनटाइडी योर पेपर सो कीप योर आंसर शीट स्पीक एंड स्पैन बहुत अच्छे से रखना बहुत अच्छे से लिखना पंचुएशन इज मस्ट और कुछ भी यानी ऐसे वैसे आप टर्न्स मत लेना कि ऐसे में से कर्व मत लेना जैसे कि एफ आपने आधा ही लिख दिया हो या एल आपने आधा ही लिख दिया हो वहां पे आपके अगर राइटर सॉरी इंटरव्यूअर को सॉरी सुपर सॉरी वॉट एम आई सेंग ये जो चेक करने वाला जो होता है उसको अगर समझ में नहीं आया चेकिंग करने वाले को तो वो सर्कल करके आपके मार्क्स काट लेगा क्योंकि लेट मी टेल यू राइटिंग टास्क आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वोन बी चेकिंग वो लोग स्पेशली अपॉइंट करते हैं एक इंसान को जो आपका राइटिंग टास्क वन एंड राइटिंग टास्क टू स्पेशली चेक करेगा ठीक है तो एग्जामिनर को अगर समझ में नहीं आता है तो डेफिनेटली ही विल डिडक्ट योर बैंड और तीन मिस्टेक्स छोटी छोटी तीन मिस्टेक्स भी होती है जैसे आपने कॉमा नहीं रखा जैसे आपने फुल स्टॉप नहीं रखा जैसे आपने इन्वर्टेड कॉमा नहीं रखा कहीं पे पोसेशन है लेकिन आपने एपोस्ट्रॉफी एस नहीं लिखा या कहीं पे जहां पे नहीं लिखना चाहिए वहां पे आपने एपोस्ट्रॉफी एस लिख दिया तो ये सारी चीज बहुत मैटर करेगी राइटिंग में रिपीटेड वर्ड्स मत लिखना आपको सिनेनॉमीज का इस्तेमाल सबसे ज्यादा करना है that is all about writing to the point don't go about the bush to the point hi likhna gol gol mat ghumna and uh, do not exceed your word limit more than 280 250 agar aap likhoge aur agar aapki mistakes hoti hai suppose 10 mistakes nikli so your word count will be 240 bhale hi aapne 250 likha hai but aapke 10 mistakes nikli hai so they will be giving you band score from 2 about for 240 starting with 240 to wo cheez mat karna writing task 1 mein 180 writing task 2 mein 280 do not write more than 280 theek hai koi matlab nahi hai bachche koi matlab nahi hai you will be simply wasting your time 
पर पंचुएशन मार्क्स स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक्स ये सा, ये सारी चीजें बहुत 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 मैटर करेगी एनीथिंग एल्स यू वांट टू आक्स एंड हैंड राइटिंग कोई भी हो बेटा पर इट शुड बी रीडेबल इट शुड बी रीडेबल और कुछ नहीं एनी अदर क्वेश्चन वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ थीसिस 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 बेटा ऐसा है कि आप एग्जामिनर को समझा रहे हो अपने वर्ड्स में ठीक है वट इज द एक्चुअल मीनिंग ऑफ थीसिस के आप एक दो से चार लाइन ऐसी लिखोगे जिसमें आप बता रहे हो वेदर यू आर अग्रिंग और डिसअग्रिंग ठीक है आप रीजन बॉडी पैरा वन में या बॉडी पैरा टू में आप लिख सकते हो एंड इन कंक्लूजन यू कैन राइट ठीक है तो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग आप क्या करोगे अग्री वाई आर यू अग्रिंग बॉडी पैरा वन वाई आर यू पार्शियली अग्रिंग बॉडी पैरा टू या वाई आर यू डिस बोथ बोथ द पॉइंट यू राइट इट डाउन एंड इन द कंक्लूजन यू कैन राइट विथ रीजन वाई यू अग्री और वाई यू डिस बट आपको फाइनल आंसर वेदर यू आर अग्रिंग वेदर यू आर डिस अग्रिंग वो आपको बता देना है थीसिस स्टेटमेंट में दैट विल बी इन द इंट्रोडक्शन इट सेल्फ सो जैसे ही आप क्वेश्चन को पैराफ्रेज करोगे आपको वो रेडी में थीसिस स्टेटमेंट जो मैं शेयर करूंगी लवप्रीत सर के साथ वो लवप्रीत सर आपको फॉरवर्ड करेंगे ठीक है ओके लवप्रीत समझ मैम लवप्रीत सर जो आपको फॉरवर्ड करे उसका आप रट्टा लगा लो अगर आपसे नहीं याद रहता है तो रट्टा लगा लो वही थीसिस स्टेटमेंट आप चिपका सकते हो अग्री के लिए अलग होगा डिसअग्री के लिए अलग होगा ठीक है ओपिनियन बेस ऐसे में लिखना है और अग्री डिसअग्री में लिखना है उसमें खाली इंट्रोडक्शन में आपको यही बताना है बाय राइटिंग द थीसिस स्टेटमेंट वेदर यू आर अग्रिंग और डिसअग्री इन टू लिटल बिट ऑफ मॉडिफाई हाई लैंग्वेज ठीक है कॉम्प्लेक्स लैंग्वेज में वो आपको रट्टा लगा के यार, याद कर लेना है लिख देना है चार बैंड आपको वहीं पे मिल जाएंगे उसके बाद कंक्लूजन में आप रीजन के साथ लिख दो ठीक है एंड टू कंक्लूड टू सम अप टू एड ऑन ये सारी जो अल्टरनेटिव है वो भी मैं शेयर कर देती हूँ लवप्रीत सर के साथ वो भी वो आपको शेयर कर देंगे ठीक है सो थीस स्टेटमेंट मेरे भी मैं भेजूंगी और वो मैं आपको सिखाऊंगी सैटरडे को नेक्स्ट सैटरडे हम करेंगे कंपाउंड सेंटेंस एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस कैसे बनाते हैं क्या फर्क है और कैसे आप फॉर्म करोगे एंड उसके बाद वाला सैटरडे को मैं थीसिस स्टेटमेंट का आपको दिखाऊंगी कि आप कैसे जेनरेट करोगे खुद से या आप कैसे लिखोगे हाउ विल यू फॉर्म इट सो दिस इज वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न उसके बाद कंक्लूजन में आप ऑल्टरनेटिव वेज क्या क्या यूज कर सकते हो अकॉर्डिंग टू द एसे यू विल राइट इट आउट तो वो ऑल्टरनेटिव वेज आई बी शेयरिंग इट विथ लवप्रीत सर एंड यू कैन जस्ट आस्क हिम टू फॉरवर्ड इट टू यू ठीक है डन थैंक यू सो मच वेलकम बच्चा ओनली वन रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल गाइज काइंडली लीव योर फीडबैक अबाउट दिस सेशन